hello in this video we will discuss about the motion sickness uh, the vomiting during the traveling and the bad situation so due to the activation of autonomic nervous system innervation by imbalances of posture and vision so the vision imbalance when we are uh, our head will be moved uh, left and right again and again or some jerk which that is involving and also the sound is also involving due to the horn of the buses as well as other problems so the basically let's begin to understand the ear is basically involving for the balance remember this is the structure of ear contain a internal middle and external this internal ear contain cochlea and semicircular canal while the middle contain a, a tympanic membrane and the ossicles it is the smaller bones throughout the body contain a stapes incus and malleus malleus is directly attached with the tympanic membrane for vibration and this vibration signal from the sound waves sound wave will be enter and vibrate the tympanic membrane to transmit the signal to the uh, cochlear uh, nerves sorry cochlea and this cochlea will transmit through a cranial nerve the cochlear nerve sorry and the semicircular canal is used for the balance we will discuss later so this is the auditory tube and is used for the pressure detection and this is the external acoustic meatus and this is the sound detection and the sound will be vibrate the tympanic membrane and this sound will be travel uh, to the um, cochlea vibrate and inside of the cochlea is the cilia containing uh, which that is the um, uh, endo lymph fluid moves uh, vibrate the cilia will transmit the signal to the cochlear nerve for audit audition for listening so this is the bigger picture of the cochlea and this is the semicircular canal uh, showing in the diagram and this is a vestibular nerve and the cochlear nerve is that so the, this is the cochlea remember it is used for the listening and the hearing while this is the a semicircular canal three canal are present the semicircular this is the vestibular apparatus semicircular con canal containing endolymph fluid this endolymph fluid movement will detect the posture of our body the balance and it will transmit the signal to our muscle to balance the body for example when we are standing or sitting in the chair so this is the vestibular nerve and this is the ampulla and uh, uh, saccule and the crista this is the basically let's begin to understand the whole uh, cells this contain hair cells which that is surrounded with the capula capula is the gelatinous so this is the posture change basically the semicircular canal will be changed the posture will change will lead to semicircular canal change and the particles in posterior canal and capula and uh, utricle which that change their position will mean uh, the endolymph fluid will be changed will detect through a uh, capula gelatinous will contain hair and this hair will be cha uh, change the fluid will detect and we can understand through our brain because the vestibular nerve will transmit the signal to the brain to understand the posture so that is why our body will satisfy for example here is the 90 degree posture and this is the 45 degree posture and the 130 degree 35 degree posture and 135 degree posture and this is the posture which will be detected through a semicircular canal will detect due to the movement of the semicircular canal the fluid will be moved and after the fluid will be moved the endolymph fluid moves to detect the direction due to the signal transmission through vestibular nerve by the detection of the hair of the hair cell so remember that things so this is the crystal which that is basically detect and ampulla so this is the in rest the motion of body by our own choice and to give the signal and in motion in car for example when we, we are traveling the motion in car uncontrolled 
to disturb the balance itself and muscle move without our need will lead to activate the changes of the physiology so anyhow let's begin to understand the vestibular nerve will transmit the signal into the brain so the brain stem the medulla contain a vestibular nuclei and eye muscle nuclei the oculomotor nerve so the eye is also involving for the balance because the vision vision perfection while on the other hand the spinal cord is involving to uh, balance the uh, body due to the postural muscle which that will maintain the posture so anyhow i hope you make sense about these things so the semicircular canal fluid movement will lead to trigger the vestibular nerve will target to the vestibular uh, nuclei in this way it will be travel to the through a vestibular nuclei and this vestibular nuclei will uh, 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 interconnect through a commissure nervous system uh, ner neuron the commissure neuron will detect left and right uh, eye muscle nuclei oculomotor nerve in this way the both eyes will be move if we want to move one eye our second eye can move easily because the both is due to the commissural neuron uh, neurons which that will be interconnect to the both side left and right eye muscle nuclei and in this way it will be transmit the signal through cranial nerve 3 and 4 so the cranial nerve 3 and 4 which that is involving will attach with our lateral rectus muscle for the movement of eye remember not visualization of eye but the movement of eye for example left and right when you will move so this is the eye which that's contain lens lens is used for the accommodation of light and the lens will used for the making image uh, near sighted or distant sighted so this is the nasal area is between the both eye this is a lateral rectus muscle and this is the retina used for the making image but this image will be a go into the brain this is the inverted image will be again fix uh, by the brain brain will uh, detect and fix and this is the correct image during the rest time when we will not traveling so in this way the image in the right eyes and left eyes will be equally so that is why one eye can detect the image same so here is the eye for example muscle movement will lead to when heart will be move left so you can move the eyes right and the both eyes equally move and compensatory eye movement during the examination the eyes will be uh, uh, move left you can move and the head can move right you can easily move and the optic nerve fiber also detect and uh, the image so here is the again i am discussing about the commissural neuron is helping to move one eyes to generate second eyes movement and at uh, uh, at the same place at the same time but remember that things and during the traveling that problem will be create and this problem will be some people have and some people not so let's begin to understand further process this is the vestibular nuclei also transmit the signal through neuron due to, uh, to the spinal cord to the peripheral part of the um, uh, muscle peripheral part of the nervous system to the muscle through a neuromuscular junction to maintain the postural muscle to maintain the posture due to the postural muscle and in this way remember that this is the result of the balance when we are walking when we are sitting when we are sleeping and uh, sorry when we are uh, yes sleeping and there is a lot of things so this is a balance result but during the imbalance during the traveling in the car the sympathetic nervous system will be activate due to the vestibular imbalances 
द वेस्टिब्यूल इम्बैलेंसिस बिकॉज अगेन एंड अगेन चेंज इज द पोस्चर विल लीड टू इम्बैलेंस एंड इन दिस वेस्टिब्यूल इम्बैलेंस विल लीड टू सिंपथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम एक्टिवेशन सिंपथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम मीन इट विल बी इनहेबिट द रेस्ट एंड डाइजस्ट रेस्ट एंड डाइजस्ट इज द पैरा सिंपथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम वाइल द सिंपथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम इज फाइट एंड फ्लाइट रिस्पॉन्स विच दैट विल बी लीड टू इनहिबिट द डाइजेशन सो द रेस्ट एंड डाइजस्ट इज अ पैरा सिंपथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम ऑफ द ऑटोनोमिक नर्वस सिस्टम विल बी इनहिबिट एंड इन दिस वे द फूड आर प्रेजेंट इन द स्टमक विल बी इजेक्ट इज नोन एज द एम एस इज आर ए वॉमिटिंग इट इज नोन एज द एंटी पैरिस्टॉल्टिक मूवमेंट नॉट पैरिस्टॉल्टिक मूवमेंट बिकॉज द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इज कंटेन बोस टाइप ऑफ मूवमेंट पैरिस्टॉल्टिस द फूड मूव फ्रॉम द माउथ टू द एनल रीजन एंड मूव टू द वाइल द वैजो डायलेशन विल अकर ड्यू टू द सिंपथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम एंड वैजो कंस्ट्रिक्शन विल अकर इन द ब्लड सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम विल लीड टू इनहिबिट द डाइजेशन इन दिस वे द रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर द फूड इज द पॉसिबिलिटी फॉर वॉमिटिंग सो वैन वी विल ट्रेवल लेट्स बिगिन टू अंडरस्टैंड द विजन सो द चेंजिज ऑफ द इमेज राइट एंड वी कॉन्ट पोस्ट वी कॉन्ट फिक्स द इमेज एंड द अगेन एंड अगेन चेंज इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द इमेज इट मीन द पोस्चर विल बी चेंज ऑफ द हैड it will be change again and again will lead to sympathetic nervous system activation and shuffling of image and in this way sympathetic nervous system activation will lead to parasympathetic nervous system inhibition so the rest and digest will be stop while the fight and flight response will be more in this way the all so the catabolic activity will be increase During the anti-peristalsis, the vomiting will be occur. The vasodilation again same mechanism due to the visualization problem. So remember that things. So remember the vestibular nerve involved for the posture of eyes movement, the movement of eyes through rectus muscle. So the lateral rectus muscle problem uh, that is imbalance. because again and again because your head is the same region for example your uh, uh, your direction of the car will be change again and again will lead to cause vomiting so anyhow i hope you make sense about that things and the optic nerve fiber is used for the making image so anyhow the causes of this motion sickness is the genetic as well as epigenetic due to the dna because your parent contained that dna is the same dna are present in your own nucleus so that is why injury of the nervous system is also involved for the motion sickness and aging or early age childhood so that is why there is a lot of problem basically the genetic is important as well as epigenetic also epigenetic mean when when you will uh, during the childhood you will not feel the vomiting but when you will uh, older you will feel the vomiting due to the changes of your own body physiology so that is known as the epigenetic it is above of the genetic while the genetic is the parental uh, parental uh, character which that will be show in your own body so the treatment we will discuss if so the treatment is very easy sit in front of car or bus so you can see easily the image and in this way the directional changes you can uh, not feel very difficult because you are not watching inside of the car while i choose a window seat on flight and train for watching the outside outdoor at if possible try lying down and shutting your eyes sleeping or looking at horizon and on the other hand the water drinking and eat frequently and avoid smoking because of smoking is also increase the sympathetic nervous system while the water drinking is very important which that will lead to help the digestion and eat frequently which that also lead to increase the parasympathetic nervous system rest and digest so the rest and digest which that stimulate will inhibit the uh, fight and flight the 
sympathetic nervous system and in this way you can possible pos, uh, the possibility for uh, for the vomiting inhibition by this mechanism is uh, possible but not 100% because some people uh, will not able to uh, control that mechanism but this is the genetic and this is the reason